The next piece of armor is the breastplate of righteousness. Ephesians 6.14 Stand therefore with truth like a belt around your waist, righteousness like armor on your chest. And in our last study, we discussed the belt of truth. So here we're going to, of course, discuss the breastplate of righteousness. And the NLT translates it as the body armor of God's righteousness. And the breastplate protects the vital organs. And as with the belt, the Greek grammar suggests that believers have the responsibility of putting on the breastplate. Roman soldiers would wear either a brass breastplate or a coat of chain mail. So we're commanded, so we're commanded, and it's our responsibility to put on this breastplate. So how do we do that? How do we put on the breastplate? And what is and what is the breastplate uh, represent? What does it mean for us? So a few things here. Firstly, we are covered with the righteousness of Christ. That's number one here. As it says in Isaiah 45, 24, Yahweh is the source of all my righteousness and strength. But that isn't the only thing in view here. Remember also Isaiah 59, 17, which says, For he, God, for God put on righteousness as a breastplate and a helmet of salvation upon his head, and he put on the garments of vengeance for clothing and was clad with zeal as a cloak. And this again is Yahweh's armor that's available to believers in Christ. So there's another layer of meaning to the breastplate of righteousness beyond being clothed in the righteousness of Christ because we see God himself wearing this breastplate of righteousness. And Clinton Arnold refers to John Stott who refers to a scholar named Finley. And Finley says, quote, the completeness of pardon for past offense and the integrity of character that belong to the justified life are woven together into an impenetrable male, end quote. So I think that is uh, what this breastplate is. I agree with that, that it's both the, righteous, the righteousness of Christ applied to us as believers, and it's also um, a life of righteous living. As John Ramirez says, quote, one of the greatest weapons you can use against the kingdom of darkness is to live a holy life in obedience to Christ. Holiness in the life of the believer is spiritual strength through the Holy Spirit, enabling you to live on the side of victory. The devil knows 100% that holiness is the greatest defense and offense against his wiles and schemes." End quote. And Andrew Lincoln says, quote, doing right and practicing justice is equally vital for the Christian soldier in his or her battle against the powers of evil. Lincoln goes on to say, this is not the justifying righteousness of Romans 3, but an ethical quality, end quote. So what we see here is that righteous living serves as a protection from many injuries. As Proverbs 11 verse 4 says, Right living can save you from death. And this isn't talking about salvation. It, it's talking about physical death in Proverbs 11 verse 4. So wearing righteousness like a breastplate can protect the believer from much suffering. Walking in the flesh without the armor of God in place, coupled with the temptations and attacks of the enemy can lead to poor choices and bad decisions, which can ruin lives both our own and those of others. So going into battle without the breastplate leaves the vital organs open to mortal wounds. And also going through life without righteousness leaves us open to physical, emotional, psychological, and spiritual damage. So we can see how this, this metaphor that Paul uses of the breastplate, how it applies to righteousness, because without the breastplate, literal breast, breastplate going into battle, your organs are open to mortal wounds. Likewise, going through life without righteousness can open you up to wounds. Life is hard and has many trials even when wearing the armor, even when living in personal righteousness. We're not talking about health and wealth here. This isn't the prosperity gospel. But when we're not wearing righteousness, when we're not living it out, as John Ramirez talked about, 
we leave ourselves open to deeper wounds, even self-inflicted wounds, when we aren't wearing, again, God's armor and standing in the strength of the Lord. If you're not living rightly, your heart is going to hurt, simply put. As Harold, and Harold Honer says, quote, As a soldier's breastplate protected his chest from enemy attacks, so sanctifying righteous living guards believers' hearts against the assaults of the devil. Thank you for listening. I'll be posting the next section of this study in the next video. So if you like the content, be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you won't miss any of this series or any of the upcoming videos. And here, if you look to the screen right now, is the list of sources that I've used in preparing this entire study. I hope you enjoy and are blessed by it. God bless.